Welcome back to the DDO Tour Guide. Today, we'll be heading into the level 6 quest, Red Willow's Ruins in House Jurasco. This is a huge, sprawling expanse of jungle and ruins with many optional side areas full of danger and treasure. Between the rare spawns and other optionals, there are a full 10 chances for extra XP and loot in here, so a full run can take a bit, but I think you're up for it. And here we are at the quest giver for Red Willow's Ruins. As you can see, we are in House Jurasco, on the southern edge of it, right here. And let's talk to John Duel de Drosco to see what's up. You look learned, or maybe strong, or crafty. Anyway, you look capable enough to me. We, meaning House Jurasco, have a small problem. No, just a problem. Leave small out of it. She wrings her hands nervously and tries to smile. Deep breaths, got to stay calm. Easy now, what worries you so? Red Willow, Janduol bursts out and then blushes. Falcor Red Willow, a renowned archaeological scholar of Stormreach. He took 20 assistants and students into the jungle, and they have been lost. Go on. Red Willow is a great mind and a shining star among his people. When he told me he'd found a source of material that would multiply Jurasco's fortunes tenfold, I rejoiced. I spent a small fortune outfitting his expedition and gave him his choice of assistance, but something went terribly wrong. I don't know the whole story, but I've learned by magical means that he is surrounded by a tribe of goblinoids deep in the jungle. Okay. Red Willow's last message indicated that his camp was overrun in the night. Apparently, there are but a handful of survivors and the material Red Willow wished to collect has been seized. I wish I could send Drasco's own forces to rescue him, but... Yeah. Red Willow made me promise to keep this expedition secret from my elders. He said the danger of losing the... materials... to an opposing house required us to act quietly. Now I cannot beg my house's help without disgracing us both, but neither can I allow Red Willow's treasure to reach enemy hands. I had hoped to recruit a freelance to rescue Red Willow's expedition, but nobody's had the nerve to try. I can handle this job, John Duel. Show me the way to Red Willow's dig. John Duel sighs with relief. I will show you the way to the site. It is surprisingly close to Stormreach, but well hidden all the same. The jungle area he was investigating is supposedly quite large, and I imagine holds many secrets for those willing to explore off the beaten path. May all the host walk with you, and help you save Red Willow from harm. If I can rescue your lost scholar, I will. And the quest entrance is right here behind her, so no need to look around, and we'll head in on Elite. Patrolling monsters have trampled paths in twisting patterns through the lush jungle. Red Willow is off here to the right, so we're going to go talk to him and the assistants first. Five haggard-looking halflings can be spied through the thick jungle foliage. Thank the sovereign host you have found us. Such a blunder I have committed here, and finally there is someone to help me clean it up. He smiles thinly. I assume that you were sent by John Duel? Yes. John Duel is a pleasant lass. A bit taken with her, I, taken with me, I fear, and I confess that I used that to my advantage. Now look at what has transpired. But I did it for House Jurasco as well as myself, and neither Jurasco nor I need suffer from this venture if you act quickly. Uh, how did you take advantage of John Duel? As you might guess from my portly stature, I am a wealthy man. My past endeavors have yielded much gold and my fair share of fame and I often find myself pursued by ladies of society and lower class benches alike. Our mutual acquaintance, John Duel, is one of those who cannot resist this celebrated name. She believed what I told her without a hint of doubt, and she was more than eager to finance this venture, despite the risks involved. You lied to get her support. I may speak with a honey-touched tongue, but I do not lie, madam. I simply convinced John Duel that secrecy was critical to our success. That was true enough, for my rivals are always eager to beat me to my discoveries. Instead of waiting for House Jurasco to put together an official expedition, I rushed to the site with only a handful of diggers, all supplied by John Duel and sworn to secrecy. 
and I found what I sought, but I could not hold on to it. Now my treasure has been stolen from me, along with the lives of most of my party. I know I am guilty. I should have waited for the protection of House Jorosko's veteran escorts. I shall apologize for involving John Duell in this disastrous scheme, if I ever return to Stormreach alive. Alright, your guilt is yours to bear. It interests me little. But who stole this treasure of yours? Hobgoblins, bugbears, and trolls. Now that's the strangest part of our misfortune. What on Eberron is driving the savage races of Zendrick, many of whom consider each other great delicacies, to cooperate? Something is amiss. Why, were I more given to fisticuffs, I should have beaten the hobgoblin into submission and forced him to speak of his leaders. You didn't fight then. Red Willow snorts loudly. By the sovereign host, no. These hands are too delicate, too skilled to wrap around the crude haft of a spear or clutch the hilt of a sword. Do I look like a barbarian fresh from the Talenta Plains? I should think not. And let's face it, I'd be hacked to pieces if I once mistook myself for a warrior. But you seem made of tougher stuff. And if you act decisively, you can redeem my past mistakes. Alright, what needs to happen here? Throughout this section of the jungle, you will find the exploratory camps established by my late and lamented assistants. I am afraid that all of these camps have been conquered by aggressive goblinoids and their fell minions. We must collect the items left behind when we fled these camps, if indeed they have not been seized already by the pillagers. We shall be forced to abandon most of our equipment, but there are a handful of objects I simply will not give to the jungle scum. A set of research notes, a very important container, an irreplaceable necklace, and the remains of the personal effects of three of my best assistants. Is there any more information you can give me? My surviving assistants here in the camp are waiting for the items you seek. My research notes should be given to Gadbin. The container, which, as you may have guessed, is what we came here for, should be entrusted to Syl. The personal effects of my lamented friends should be given to Chaldea. And finally, Jada waits for the return of the necklace. Red Willow spun a clever tale, asking you to recover four items from research camps that were overrun by goblinoids. Now that you understand what needs to be done, I assume that you will be off to destroy these beasts and recover our gear? Uh, is that it? There is a private matter you could assist me with. I wouldn't want this business bandied about Stormreach, if you get my drift, but if you are not afraid to deal with rather shady folk, or to hold your tongue about it, I might have further need of you. I was approached not long ago by a third party with an interest in these ruins. Though I knew Jandul would not approve, I gave my word to this third party that I would review their offer. Naturally, I would recompense House Jorosko for their investment if I chose to switch patrons. If you are willing, I would ask you to deliver my response to them now. Alright, I'll deliver it. You will need to search for their recipient, but you will know him when you find him. His skin is as dark as the night sky. An important missive has been handed over to your party. Somewhere in the jungle, a dark emissary awaits. I have never, in all my days, seen a goblinoid onslaught such as the one that overran our encampments. They acted with uncanny intelligence, targeting our guards first, and then slaughtering our defenseless scholars. Red Willow quickly saw that we had no chance and called for a retreat. Call it cowardice if you like, but none of us would be alive without that act of leadership. They swarmed the camps as we slept, murdering our guards and laying waste to all who stood in their path. I lost a precious heirloom to their claws. Bring me that necklace, for I will not leave it here. They washed over us in the night, scores of hobgoblins, bugbears, and worse. They burst from the jungles and stomped out our fires, ran a goodly number of innocent folks through, then forced us to flee with our skins and little else. Red Willow raced from camp to camp, screaming for everyone to flee. I know it sounds less than heroic, but he was right, and those of us who didn't listen perished. In the end, only the five of us survived. It was terrible, Chaldea says as she lowers her eyes. There were so many of them all around us. We fought, but so few of us survived. Please, help us to recover at least the belongings of Falkor's chief assistant. They journeyed with us on many adventures, and we'll never see them again. Alright. 
It is time to clear the jung clear the jungle. Starting with trolls. Trolls bar the way ahead. Among them is a dark scaly champion whose eyes burn with hate. And we grab our first chest. Along with the quest item. Now this ruin is optional. The foul stench of bugbear fills your nostrils. It seems you have stumbled into their lair. And as you can see, we don't have a map in here, so we will be exploring based on site. Fortunately, we do have a counter that tells us how many we have left until we've cleared the place. disappearing again. There we go. Hobgoblin camp has been cleared and we can move on to the next section of the map. of rotting meat and roasting flesh. A pack of goblinoids, several camps are strewn throughout the area. Each camp boasts well-armed patrols to scour the area to find the locals. Go. Camp is clear. Let's see if we got the rare spawn scorpion. The sand shifts to reveal a small brood of night scorpions. Just the normal ones, not the rare. Trolls huddle together in the jungle here. Destroy them before they make a meal. And of course, another chest. Bugbear and hobgoblin assassins peer hungrily from the dark corners of the jungle. There are more Near scorpions if you walk over this area. You can't avoid them by going to the sides. Also, there are trow up here. They run away. And the shrine is now available. Hobgoblins have created a small warren ahead. Destroy them. They hide behind these bushes a bunch. A host of the research notes feasts and chortles loudly nearby. Chest. More stealth guys. More stealth guys. An orange name. And another chest. But not just the chest. You have recovered all of the lost items Red Willow described. Return them to the halflings at Red Willow's camp. One gargoyle <laughs> appears more intelligent than the others. It follows your motions with unmatched intensity. So we did not get the scorpion, but we did get the rare spawn gargoyle. The stony form shattered by your onslaught. Tolagath crumbles to dust. Now, at this point, we've collected all the quest items. So for a fast completion, we would return to Red Willow and complete the quest. 
but there are many other optional things left for us to do. Now this cave has a great number of traps in it. And a locked chest. Which spawn spiders as soon as you open it. So be ready for them. We will, however, clear out this other side first before we go on any deeper. This time the control panel is on the other side. And we once again have a shrine. That's another optional objective completed because we cleared out the goblinoid camp. So now we have to run all the way back out and we'll head even deeper into the jungle to find Red Willow's contact. Goblinoid camp awaits you beneath a canopy of jungle trees. Several bugbears have built a small camp in the shade of the ruined walls. There we go. And we're cleaning lots of stuff out. Good spot. We can see all these scorpions Scuffing ahead of us. Feet clatter on stones as the scorpion patrol approaches. Ahead, ferns and bushes have been arranged. As you make your way beyond the brush, you spy two dark-skinned forms rushing toward a larger camp. Yeah. Silent and stoic. The dark-skinned men watch as you approach. The one clad in dark green cloth seems to be the leader. The drow's eyes narrow with suspicion. You are not the messenger I was told to expect, yet I see the halfling's letter in your hand. It belongs to me. Give me that letter, now. We'll try a diplomacy check here. Our business you have delivered is Red Willow's missive to Kepatan to Korcha, a drow emissary. So note that if you do not use diplomacy, they will try to kill you. But when you kill them, you can open the chest. So that is a choice that you will have to make for yourself. We 
we will head back out. So as you can see, we are actually fairly close, but we have to go all the way back around to get out. This is a bit of a long haul. Still going. Still going. Enjoy all the greenery as we pass by on our way back to Red Willow's camp. Now we can hand in their various pieces. Yes, I have the container. Yes, I was able to recover it. Yes, here are the research notes. Yes. Yes. You have returned the items to their caretakers. Inform Red Willow of your success. You have salvaged the things we need to pack up our expedition and leave. However, while you are gone, my assistants and I made use of our magical talents to search for the roots of this disaster. There is one thing we lack before we can truly call this venture a success. Revenge, Falcor speaks shrilly. Revenge upon the evil creature who caused these stupid goblinoids to interrupt my plans. There is a crafty giant who has holed himself up in a nearby cavern. It is this giant, I am sure, who drove the scum to thwart us. And it is this giant I would see slain. I can create a dimensional portal to his lair, but I cannot rip the heart from his chest. That is your job. You don't won't decamp unless I do this. No, I will not move an inch until the giant is dead. You must understand that this is not only a personal vendetta. These giants are up to something sinister. You may be sure of that, and every murderous step that they bring takes them closer to Stormreach. You must protect Stormreach, must we not? I swear that the murderer of my assistants will not survive to scheme again. All right, summon your portal. You will be lauded as a hero in the taverns of Stormreach. Falcor removes a small scroll from a case on his belt and recites a few words in a guttural tongue. That should do the trick. Red Willow has opened a gate that leads to the culprit behind this invasion, a ill giant named Tortgar. All right, so you really want to make sure that you're buffed up before going through the portal here, because with the giants and their trample and knockdown, this can be tricky at the very beginning. Note that you don't click on it to go through. If you walk close, you go through. Another thing to be Red cautious Willow's of. Gateway deposits you into the center of a long overgrown ruin. As you can see, you get attacked from all sides as soon as you walk through the portal. here because we do want our optional to destroy the giant army. And a set of shrines if you need them. Well fortified and guarded, you have found your way placement. to the giant leader's stronghold. You will need cunning to defeat this. Blow. His 
his hold over the goblin tribe is shattered. And with the boss's death, the quest completes. We can grab the final chest. And then we can recall out and report our success to our initial quest giver. Hello, John Duel. John Duel looks to you with desperation in her eyes. Were you able to find Dreadwillow? Was the attack on his party as terrible as he said? I'm afraid so. Falcor Redwillow found his treasure, and he will deliver it as promised, but most of his companions lie dead. It might as well have killed them. How can I be glad of Falcor's success when it costs so many innocent lives? Jandul's eyes brim with tears. I am glad you were able to save Falcor Redwillow, and I am glad for my house that his prophets were saved too. But for the deaths of Falcor's party, I cannot forgive myself. Uh, you should reserve some blame for Redwell himself. I am convinced that he misled you into this scheme. I understand now that Falcor Redwillow will never regret an adventure that increases his fame and fortune. I, therefore, shall regret it twice. Once for myself, and once for Falcor's black heart. Speak to me no more of this. We will take a random reward. And that will do it for Red Willow's Ruins. I hope you enjoyed the tour, and I will see you next time.